Hello, and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today, I want to talk about using the FAA's NOTAM search tool, specifically with field condition NOTAM. So that's really important for pilots and dispatchers, especially to be paying attention to what the field conditions are at an airport. So I pulled up the Aviation Weather Center because I love it and found this airport here up in upstate New York that has been getting snow for a while. So that is KSLK and I've gone to the FAA NOTAM search page. I'll put a link in the video description. But let's just see what is going on with the NOTAMs up there in upstate New York. And here we have the NOTAMs that come out. Now, the want to start with this search is pretty good. You can search by um, what kind of NOTAM it is. So like these procedural NOTAMs have come up first at the top of the list. These are having to do with instrument approach procedures. I'll have another video releasing about that later. Uh, but for now, I'm going to concentrate on the field condition NOTAMs, which we can find if I resort this, put them at the top by doing my search. Um, I can find a field condition NOTAM right here for runway two seven. Okay, now if you if you click on the NOTAM, we can get it here. Um, you can even put it on plain language mode. I'm not going to cheat. We're going to actually translate this thing because it actually matters. Okay. So um, we have this. It is the fourth month. That would be April. It is the 15th NOTAM that was made this month. And then we have the airport identifier. And then it tells me it's a runway 27 field condition F-I-C-O-N 111. Okay. So that's a one for the first third, a one for the middle, and a one for the last third of the runway. Now, if you look at the FAA's table of field condition NOTAMs, what that actually translates to, it is on a scale from zero, which is like no braking at all, full ice, up to six, which is completely dry and clean runway. So the one is basically poor conditions, and the reason that they are giving is that it is 50% ice. So apparently it's a lot of ice on the runway. This was observed at, and now we have a decoding to do, uh, 25th year, so it's 2025. And then we have April 04, April 8, that is today, at 0952. These are all given in UTC. They're supposed to be coded in UTC. It is kind of up to the airport operator to do it right. Okay. So that is when they made the observation. And then you have a time when it is valid. So it's from when they looked at it at 9.52. And this airport operator has said, well, it's going to be apparently that way until um, the 25th year. So April 9, 2025 at 9.52. So basically 24 hours. Okay. So if I go back to plain language, that's all nice and good. Honestly, it doesn't really translate it that much. You still have to know what this field condition bit actually means. So let's go back to the results. Um, here's another um, that we've got where they haven't put any numbers on it. Same airport. It's a different runway. Runway 23. It's the 16th NOTAM. So the next NOTAM they put out again today. 20% ice. And that was observed, and we can decode the thing again. It is April 8, 2025, and this was 9.53 Zulu. Okay, so then going back to my whoop, back to my results list, we can check out this one for the airport. It's apron, so this would be like all the area. I don't know if they have gates or what they've got there, but the apron uh, field condition is patchy ice, and patchy eighth inch of dry snow, okay? And then once again, we can decode the time. It is April the 8th, 2025, and that was found at 1338 Zulu. And once again, the decoding at the front end is, it's the fourth month, so it's April, and it's the 18th NOTAM that they have come out with this month, okay? So that's the field condition reports. I will also put a link in the video description to show you about this, um, this coding of the 111. So you could have anywhere from zero, like I said, is poor, sorry, no breaking at all, breaking nil, all the way up to five, which is just a wet runway, but no breaking action problem, and six, a completely dry runway. 
So I will link to a really good article from Bold Method explaining all this. And have a great day from Laura at Aviation 101.